If not for nothing, me and some of the guys from dental school decided to go out on a Tuesday night to this bar because supposedly that's the fun night. But if you know like I know, on a Tuesday night, there's a shit to do in Baltimore. So needs to say, it was dry. But that's not the point here. We gave up on the night around 1 a.m. I left the guys and dunked off into a dive bar for a glass of water where I saw this tall Australian man dressed in all white, drunk out his fucking mind, falling over himself, screaming, smiling, buying strangers tequila shots. There were six people in the bar total, three women, two guys, all entertaining him. From the looks of it, he came by so fresh off a flight, proclaiming loudly how he left his angry uncle, who was the only person in America he knew, in their hotel because he wanted to party. Uh, word? He made his rounds to everybody on the other side of the bar, handing out drinks, voice slurred, rocking back and forward, reeking of alcohol and insomnia. I stayed to myself, but eventually he offered, finally walking over to my face, laughing loud about how he lost his passport that night, and Buddy couldn't look any more unbothered. I turned him down and stuck with my water. Figured the dude was a crook, but I came over eventually to flirt with the only pretty girl in the bar and share some laughs about it all of it. He was even more drunk and ridiculous up close, but he had good drunk energy, so surprisingly it was a good time. After a couple more interesting hours, he left with a girl from the bar that could double for every McDonald's drive through worker you've ever seen working past midnight. And it's fucked up, but all four of us agreed she'd probably rob him. But you know, maybe not. After a couple more hours, I left with the girl from the bar and we sat in my car waiting. I was on the phone ready to leave and here comes Mr. Australian, all white, stumbling through the street, looking lost and aloof, but still happy as before. But this time he was short his wallet and his phone. Guess we were right about young McDonald's. He recognized me and I watched him pass my car, playing my mirrors, watching his every step. He starts talking through my window and I try to talk him away in the politest manner, but that doesn't work. And it really doesn't work when your door's unlocked. My door swung open and this man had half his head in my car, potentially scaring away a closed deal. And I couldn't hear a word he was saying to make matters worse because he was so damn drunk and at this point my temper was kicking in. So I told him I can't give you a ride, but Uber's your best bet. Or asking the police for a ride. He said a lot of slurred nothings in response. I heard Uber, I heard thank you, I heard God blessed. He closed the door and stumbled off to the next stranger he saw and I felt like shit the next moment. It wouldn't have been a thing to ask for that man's hotel address or to cover his Uber, but I just let him walk off selfishly i'm not sure when i'll get that karma back